up guys it's kenyo here here with mr composition kevin prince you might know him he has an event coming up tomorrow called the composition cozy corner and it's a recurring event he started creating this um recurring event that he's gonna have every single tuesday here in san antonio adding to the scene creating more culture for people to check out and uh, i'm gonna actually be putting out a calendar of some of the stuff that's going around in the city but right now we were just chilling and um i was having some thoughts earlier in the day i know you guys know why i make these rest videos they're kind of train of thought videos i like to give some of the stuff that i use to build some of these things and i'm realizing it has cool nuggets in it just in general for life and other stuff so it's some philosophy type stuff, okay? I don't, I don't know, I'm not claiming any degrees here, but I do like to use science and other kinds of thoughts when I'm creating my stuff, so um, take it with a grain of salt like you would poetry, right? But anyway, so we were chilling, and I really got on this idea of what something that I'm thinking about a lot as I move forward and we do different stuff and events and um, try to see more and more people I'm, I'm really thinking about this idea and I think the, the coining word is just loyalty right the importance of loyalty even before I get into the deep stuff just loyalty in general is a way for you to have peace in what you're doing right when you know what's up with your with your with your set of values on that level what it does is it allows you to create um, a sense of power when you act you know when you when you have loyalty loyalty is just peace for you so you know that you can it's almost it's almost like faith but not really it's more of on another level where it's just like no i'm riding this out i'm here to see what's at the end and i liked this thing that kevin just said we were listening to some gary v some kt the arts degree is that what it is kt the arts degree yeah kt okay yeah oh, kt and then um we started talking about um what it is that um what it means to be working on the stuff and i was talking about how yeah you just have to work on the inner core stuff sometimes and then he said yeah the, the the stuff itself is you building it and you're building that inside of yourself and the you on that what for them for the other people that you're showing your stuff to that's just them seeing it that's just them i, I stole it from <laughs> it's from Kevin entirely but anyway <laughs> and that made me think about how um, if you're having a lot of really really short working relationships you're not allowing maybe it's because you're expecting people to see what they can't see yet because the time hasn't been there so maybe what you need to do is find ways to be loyal to your relationship with them and still rediscover yourself I love that I work with people who I know are free to do that MT yes empty the realist the rapper we've been able to work together for a while now and it's cool to see people redevelop and the relationship changes when someone changes and they redevelop you know but the core is what allows you to think about how you can still move on and work with these people and that's your clients too and your audience too is you figure out what's the connection in these changes and the communication and what needs to change so that this can still exist if you can do that man and yeah. this i just i just got this right now while you're talking um the 80 20 rule mm. so when you talk about loyalty imagine being loyal to the 20 people that's giving you the 80 percent results versus yes. loyal to the 80 percent of the people that's giving you 20 percent results sure. still recording good because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that was know, too good <laughs> like you yeah. know you you have this 80 20 rule and i'm a firm believer but when you start actually buckling down on Ooh. where your attention is being being directed to so is your intentions and actions on 80 percent that's giving you 20 percent results or is mm. it on 20 percent that's giving you the 80 percent results it's nice. work smarter not harder people. and to be honest you probably don't have the extra 60 percent to give so now you're giving that same 20 percent but you're giving it to something that has less power which means you just get less return yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so the loyalty thing, and then I even I went. I don't remember the deep stuff anymore. Now I had, I had some deep stuff on it. What was it? Um, the idea. 
that, okay, what, the idea that I'm pushing, that I want to focus on, is that I really want to focus on those seven, and it might be more than seven, I don't know, seven to ten, seven to whatever it is, that core inner circle, um, and just realize that that is where a lot of the real power is. And when I'm operating, when whenever you're operating with those people who are your seven to ten, um, and they don't have to necessarily be what people call your team. I think that that is a cool thing that arises. Let other people call it a team. Maybe you're just working together and collaborating. But when you focus on those seven to ten people, um, you have this power level that you're able to showcase and share with the larger group, which are, it was, which is like the 50 people. And then this is what I'm documenting. If you're not one of those people, if I don't if. You, for you guys out in New York, I'm not going to pretend like you're you're one of the seven or one of the 50 because you're not, you know. <laughs> I'm just documenting what's here and sharing it. I'm, I'm letting you see it. And I want to see what you got with your seven people and your 50 people because that's dynamic and we can we can discover um, the whole world like that. But anyway, so I'm just thinking as far as even for just on a on a, on an everyday life level, I think that's really important to think about that as like a system for how you engage with the world, how you appreciate the world, how you appreciate your community and things like that. Um, it's extremely fascinating. Even when they talk about these ideas of um, the fact that certain communities don't reinvest in themselves at the same rates and it cause, causes you know poverty in those communities. If you really think about what happens when you're giving money to um, someone else, it's, it's really just about the orbit time. Exactly. How long is that thing going to take to get back to you? And we send money in all kinds of orbits for all kinds of different reasons, and it's important to do that based on just natural reasons but also it's good to think about the fact that when you throw some stuff in that tighter orbit you're just making your orbit stronger yeah. you know what i mean so that it has more gravity when it does whoo more Ooh. stuff with other people oh my gosh so if you're wow. really if you have a tight um if you have a tight orbit of 10 people and it's just getting reinvested that's why you have that's why you see these billionaires and they look when they do interviews together they laugh like they know each other because they know each other you yeah. know it's 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 no mistake so i think definitely if you can obviously you have to find the right seven seven people and that might be through school for you or through your church group or something like that or through a creative group in your scene we have a really cool scene in senate anyway that's not what i'm you, here to get on about but. boy you were talking about that because mm. that that seven to fifty ratio is just like man mm -hmm. that sounds so mm -hmm. you know and actually 20 percent of 50 is 10. wait 20 percent of 50 is 10. oh man see it makes perfect sense these were just ideas I'm still recording. Thank you, Jesus. And it makes really good sense. Uh, so, see, that's when the math comes into. It. That's why I say I don't have a math degree, but there's math involved. Mathematics. Everywhere. Don't don't let people with math degrees shame you out of using math in your everyday life. Okay. I feel like we we feel like we're ashamed to still have an appreciation for the the complexities and the ideas of algebra. We are that stuff is useful. Right? You want to know math? It, it has to do with especially, you know, I guess, in like business it's and, the, and it's, relationships. It's divine feminine and masculinity. You got made, made mathematics broken down is miat thematics, which is miat the feminine principle as far as with balance and things like that, mm. and hermetics is. Hermes was the Greek form of thought. Mm. So you have the feminine and masculine energies right there yeah. within the word. And it's so important to know word origins and why we say things and why they sound like... Anyway, okay. Woo! Great. I should have spent um, some time drawing these ideas out for you guys so I could send you pictures and stuff like that. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Um, thank you guys for watching this rest video. If you want to hear more about how some of these ideas turn into workshops and some of the other talks, and it definitely goes into my poetry and I have my poetry books there too. You just go to the rest project on project four TV. That's project four TV dot slash rest. And then you can also get the poetry books interestingly enough at kevin's page dabtroll.com you can get the poetry books there too and they're actually cheaper there so well whatever <laughs> do what you must i would appreciate it in fact i'd rather you go to kevin's you, you guys don't get it i just said the loyalty that's why it's better if it goes to kevin first because when the money then when it makes the orbit when it comes back it's even richer because it's just how it works it's just how it works anyway 
I shouldn't say it's just how it works. There's more science and more math mm -hmm. to be discovered. This isn't a final thing, but I'm having these discussions in the moment. This is a stream of consciousness. This one will change and it'll develop. And that is how we will conquer our destinies. Oh my gosh. See you guys later.